I said I'd do a camper tour and a shop tour, so let's start that. Welcome to my camper. This is my 2014 Keystone Hideout, and I bought this because you know the cost of rent right now. It's it's pretty bad. Does it seem like a decent alternative to you, you know, uh, not being homeless? Not necessarily homeless, but I won't I won't get into the specifics. But yeah, let me just show you around. It's a little messy in here, but I live here, so like, deal with it, I guess. Here's my couch with the Charlene on it. She's having a great time, it looks like. And here's my little kitchen area. I have dishes, because I made smash burgers and also other crap. Here's my uh, dining area with my Nintendo Switch and a bunch of water on it. This fridge does not effing work. I got lied to by the people who I bought this from. Lying sex. Here's my bathroom. I take dumps in here. And here's a funny thing when you sit down, there's that scene from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I actually shower at a gym because the wa hot water heater does not work. So that's pretty cool as well. And then here's the bedroom. This is where all the magic happens. Um, obviously, because I get hella ladies. Uh, the lights don't work. There you go, I installed some lights in here because I thought it would be nice. Oh, let's, I'll have to wear that watercolor painting I did a long time ago. That's like the only good painting I've ever done. And uh, yeah, that's basically <sighs> the camper. I would love to have a roommate in like a decent apartment with uh, a garage so that way I could still have a workspace, but that's not in the cards quite yet. So for now, I'm just living in here and uh, using my parents' garage. Uh, as my workshop, which, speaking of which, let me show you that. So let's cut to uh, past True. Yeah. Thanks, future True. Welcome to the shop. I've been spending a lot of time in here trying to get it like looking good, and I'm gonna gloss over a couple things just for the sake of your time, because there's a bunch of workshop tours on YouTube, but whenever I watch them, I look for some sort of inspiration or something like that. And uh, yeah, this is just a good time to show you what I got, so let me show you. This is a table that I built, and no, it's not perfect. I'm not exactly the best woodworker, but I think for building this mostly out of scrap, it's pretty good. It's got a nice melamine top on it, and it supports my weight, and it's not like the most perfect table or anything, but it works. So that's all it really needs to do anyways. So, all right, I'm gonna get up. Ugh. And there's some miscellaneous items underneath here, but that doesn't really matter right now. Here is the most recent addition to my whole workflow right here. I bought the shelf to put the printers on and other stuff down here at the bottom. And let me just tell you what these are. This right here is the Ender 3 V2 and I have it hooked up to the Creality Sonic Pad. And I have the CR10 right here, not hooked up to the Sonic Pad yet. I just got this up and running and I, just, I wanted it perfect before I put it onto the Sonic Pad and try to dial out settings that way. So yeah, this is what we got on the shelf as well as tools up here, storage right here. I have the Jim Mitsu CNC down here, uh, not set up yet. I will at some point, but uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't used that in a while. And then these bins down here just to store some components and uh, scrap electronics and stuff like that. And of course we have what most people know me for, which is the six foot tall Ender 3. And I am planning on doing a sequel to this at some point, but the thing is, is that uh, it costs money. I'm planning on making this thing absolutely perfect at some point, so be sure to stick around for that and other projects along the way. Speaking of projects along the way, we've got this thing on my sort of assembly table and kind of sketch table as well, because this entire surface right here, I love this, is a whiteboard. I have those two markers stuck together. This entire surface, is a whiteboard. I got one of these at Home Depot and I just plopped it on here. I'm planning on making it more permanent at some point, but I can, you know, sketch like blah, 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 right here. <laughs> and then I can just wipe it away. It's great. If any of you can guess what this device will be at some point, then I'll show you out in the comment on my next video, which will be when this thing will be featured. Down here, I have my uh, wood lathe, which I've made some projects on, and uh, here's a bowl that I made recently after not using it for quite a while. And I would show you guys like these tools and everything, but I'm pretty sure you know what a hammer is or a chisel or stuff like that, so that's pretty boring. Here we have the pe- oh. 
Here we have the PC setup that I'm sure a couple of you probably know about. I built this desk several years ago and it's still holding up. There's still like chips and stuff. So I might rebuild this whole thing at some point. But uh, here's my PC with two mismatched monitors. This one's actually a TV. Off the top of my head, I think my PC is rocking like a i3-7100, something like that, a, G a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. And so yeah, pretty outdated uh, stuff there. But this basically does what I need to run Fusion 360, browse the internet for stuff, and play Minecraft occasionally. I have some miscellaneous crap down here. I use the same chair as my computer chair just to kind of scooch on over here. Here's where I have all of my electrical tools and soldering stuff. We got my Walmart freaking soldering iron, my multimeter that I've had for a while now, this second multimeter, uh, stud finder, yeah, just you know, boring crap like that. Here's where I've got like drill bits and pliers and stuff. I have a couple hole saws from like TV installation kits. That's just some junk down there. And uh, here we have like my parts bins right here. I don't have a lot of things stored in here. I'm gonna buy a bunch of like cheap Chinese electronics and stuff that in that bin right there. But this is where I keep like tools, like my deburring stuff and screwdrivers. Well, in fact, I made this screwdriver like a few years ago. I think right before the pandemic actually. Here we have a bunch of like screws and uh, threaded inserts and stuff like that. Here's all of my sticky, icky goop, like epoxy and super glue and stuff like that. I have a whole bin of zip ties right here. I'm planning on buying more. This one just has a couple breadboards in it. And this one has uh, circuit boards like uh, Arduinos and Raspberry Pis. And uh, this is an old uh, 3D printer board from uh, the 3D printer that I had at my school. So that's pretty much the shop as it is right now. This is where I will be making bigger projects, better projects, and just having way more flexibility and capabilities than I ever did before. So if you're excited for it too, or if this in any way inspired you, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.